Less time on Left Behind. Break from your current 20 and reestablish on the backside of the compound. I'm on my way to secure the back entrance. Not if I can get there first. This is key. I need some materials, and I need them now. She's going to make a cast of Carpathia's entire body? I, I've been studying death. What are you saying? Mr. Barry, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to step out of the craft. Hurry. We should take no chances. I'll check the freezer to make sure we can get underground if we need to. I'm an You are all butchers! <laughs> Based on the Indwelling, the seventh book in the best-selling series, Tyndale House Publishers proudly presents Episode 75 of the dramatic audio edition of Left Behind. This is getting old. Mr. Hayseed, is this what you call hospitality? There are six of us and you offer one chair. Hello? Uh, my apologies. I was under the impression it was the responsibility of the guest to inform the host. That... Enough of this. The Supreme Commander has commissioned me to do a sort of bronzy, iron thingy of Nikolai. And I have to do it fast, so can you get me the materials? Okay, okay. Let, let me check my catalog file for bronze and iron thingy suppliers. Or, well, could I get you to be a bit more specific? Okay, I'm going to need a computer program that allows me to figure out how to do this. I'm going to be supplied by the corner with a life-size cast of Carpathia's body. And I need to quadruple that in size. That means four times. Yeah, I recall arithmetic. I'm just trying to help. David, we must work together. Truce? Truce. Start over. No hassles. Whatever. Be nice. I'm trying. Anywho, I want to make this, like, 24-foot replica of Carpathia out of pretty much bronze, I think, but I wanted to come out in a sort of ebony finish with an iron texture. Ebony is black. Right, I, I remember crayons too, Guy. <laughs> Sorry, yes. David. Thank you, you don't want any help. So what do you need and when? Now we're getting somewhere. I want the thing to be hollow, but it has to be strong enough and balanced enough to stand straight without support, just like Nikolai would if he was that tall. So you make him to scale, cheat on the shoes if he has to... <laughs> shoes? Oh, David, my statue will be all natural. Please, tell me you're joking. Not on your life. Did you think the mortician was going to make a body cast of him in his double-breasted suit on wingtips? Forget it, forget it. You wouldn't understand. You obviously have some hang-up about the human form and can't appreciate the beauty. I'm assuming the statue will maintain a prominent place within the palace. Within the palace? Dear boy, this will be the object doubt of history. My pièce de résistance. Mm. It shall stand in the palace courtyard, not ten meters from where the potentate lies in state. So the whole world is going to see it. In all its glory. And it's your masterpiece. Yeah. Isn't it wonderful? So if I took a picture of something and then traced it, I could be an artist too. You're about as far from an artist but as I am. But this reproduction of a dead man's bare body is your work? Don't you see? The concept. I conceived it. I was asked to create a huge statue to represent the greatest man who ever lived, and this came to me. 
as if from God himself. So you're on speaking terms with the Almighty. It's just an expression, Hayseed. It's from my muse. It's what I blame my genius on. The one thing that keeps me from unbearable ego. I mean, I'm not complaining, but the attention becomes a bit much. Frankly, I'm as overwhelmed at my gift as anyone else. Really? Indeed. And I can't wait to get started. I'm assuming I would have access to the GC Foundry, as we won't have time to have this done off-site. The Foundry is on three shifts, seven days a week. It would be cheaper to take it to Asia, where the costs would Help probably... me stay civil here, David. Mm-hmm. It's clearly my fault for not clarifying. Okay. Supreme Commander Fortunato, who, in case you couldn't figure this out on your own, will likely be the new potentate once Carpezia is entombed, wants this monument in place no later than at dawn Sunday. Sunday... Uh... I, I, I don't see it, but I guess you've made up your mind. Why, I believe we have begun to connect. Jizaki, if you please. Yes, Here's the schedule. The specifications for the foundry are here. We'll need you to override current projects. Get this at the top of the list. And let me get in there to make sure the consistency on the color is right. Well, you'll need protective clothing, a hard hat. Good. I love new clothes. <laughs> Father, you say I need to be still and know that you are God. Okay, that's what I'm doing. And I am ashamed of myself, what I've done. For months now, all I've done is rationalize taking revenge. I've been selfish, angry. You gave me leadership of this group of people, and I've left them more vulnerable than ever. (laughs) Sorry. I've taken matters into my own hands. I've always prided myself on thinking things through. All I'm doing is acting on my emotions now. I've sinned, Lord. Forgive me. Restore me to yourself and those I love. Here I am, Lord. I'm yours to use as you see fit. Yes, uh, this is your friend from America. Say code so I know. Code, uh, Jesus is the Christ, the, the Messiah. Oh, that's not code, but I know voice. Saw on television. You did? Me? Yes. You shoot Carpetia? It, no, uh, at least I don't think so. I, I didn't mean to. What are they saying? Are they showing my face? Yes. Uh, Mrs. Miklos, I'm in Kozani. The airport at Ptolemy was dark. Is Lucas there? No. With our shepherd, praying for you. Oh, I don't want to compromise you. I can head back to the States and do, see... Do you. not know compromise. Oh, sorry. Um, I don't want to give you away. Get you in trouble? Oh. Be seen with you? Well... Lucas would not leave you alone. I tell him. He call you. All right. Let me give you the number. And tell him I'll wait here as long as I'm not seen. Yes, yes, I'll, I'll be there in just a moment. Oh, I was afraid of this. Oh, Rayford. Dear God, I bring Rayford before you now. Oh, oh, oh. I, Father, he is in such... Uh, such 
danger. Oh, almighty God, I am unpure. Forgive me. I can't concentrate on Rafe. Dizzy. Oh, oh, oh. I, I, I don't understand. Oh, 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 oh. I, I don't understand. Sorry, I... I was wondering, should I try call... Tiong! What are you... Are you all right? I'm... I'm fine, dear. I... Is there a reason you're lying on the floor? I am... Very tired uh, all of a sudden. N- okay. You didn't pass out or something? No, no, I'm... I'm... I'm fine. Why don't you take a break? I'll keep an eye on the news and let you know if anything... Resurrect. I would be grateful. <laughs> Is uh, Kenny all, all right for a minute? I... Yeah, yeah, he's into the... <laughs> he loves to play in there. I see. <laughs> yeah. Chloe, um, since you're going to hear it on the news anyway, perhaps I should tell you a few things. What? 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 Is it? Is it Buck? Did they say something about Buck? Nothing from Buck or, or Leah. <sighs> Then then what? It seems your father has gotten himself in a bit of trouble. Oh. Viv, you in there? Oh, better write her a note. Viv, here's the printout you wanted. Call me with any... Questions. David. Huh. Wait, wait, what, what in the world is this? Whoa. This, this is good. Very good. Better take a picture of this. Looks like we've got the same ten regions, but with all, all new names. Wow. United Carpathian States. That's a new one. Oh, hello. This is Mac. Oh, hey, Mac. Thought you'd be here to greet us. I'm on my way. Corporal Christopher is waiting on uploading the evidence until the pallbearers get the body out of here. What did you say about evidence? And he's offloading it now. A couple huge plastic bags full of pieces of the lectern. And another crate with apparently the whole fabric backdrop off the stage. Huh. Moon wouldn't let us leave Jerusalem without it. Uh, you heard about the weapon, right? Oh, sure, of course. Our friend, too. Yeah. Funny thing, though, David? Yeah? Um... Actually, you know, I, I better save this for in person. I'll see you in a couple minutes. Hello. Uh, Mr. Steele, uh, where are you? Lucas, I'm, I'm at the Kazani airport. Been waiting for your call. Oh, yes, no, stay in the shadows, but you'll need to walk three kilometers north. We will pick you up north of the three kilometer marker. Okay. Lucas, I don't want you two to risk... Nonsense, nonsense, eh? Do you have an alias and appropriate papers? I do. Good. How fast can you walk? How's the train? Not the best, but don't get near the road until we get there. I'm starting now. Mr. Steele, we were just praying for you whom we feel like the folks in the New Testament, praying for Peter when he knocked on their door. Yeah. Except, as I recall, he was coming from prison. He was on the platform at the stadium. This I know. Yakov never made it to him before. 
Oh, Yakov. Uh, well, the GC don't have him. They wouldn't have left the house if they thought he was still in there. Come on, think! Where would he be? Where would he go? God, please, can I ask you to give me a clear mind long enough to figure this out? If Jaime is alive, let us run into each other or, or, or both think of a meeting place that makes sense. Rayford? Conspiracy? Boy, the GC are really reaching on this one. Okay, Williams, think. Where have Haim and I been together that we would both think of? Teddy Collick Stadium. That's too public. That was... Wait a minute. Wait a minute, that's it. That's gotta be it. I can't believe it. They, they think Dad killed Nikolai? Well, the reports speak of it as if he had already been tried and convicted. Oh, I should have seen it coming. He he wanted us to focus on Hattie, which made sense. She was always saying she wanted to kill Carpathia. Why would he do it, knowing the death wound is only temporary? Is your father capable of such an act? I wouldn't have thought so until... Well, he's changed so much over the last few months. It's, it's as if he's reverted into something worse than he was before he became a believer. I was aware of tension in the house. But beyond that, I'm not sure what you're talking about. It was like a rage. You didn't notice? Frankly, I share some of that rage. I still fight it when I think of my family. I know. I, but, but this is new to Dad. I can't imagine him actually standing there, pulling the trigger. How would he be able to escape with as much security as they had, Rafe? Sion, they say he's at large, but but maybe they've already caught him. I have been praying that God would spare him. What if he is guilty? What if he's a murderer? There's no exception to God's law if the victim is the Antichrist, is there? None that I know of. Then he should turn himself in and suffer the consequences? Now slow down, Chloe. We know too little. But if he is guilty... My answer may surprise you. Okay. Surprise me. Off the top of my head, I believe we are at war. In the heat of battle, killing the enemy has never been considered murder. I personally would harbor your father from the GC if he shot Carpathia dead, even while urging him to seek God about his rage. Well now, you're right. You have surprised me. Hey, David. Annie's over there locking the evidence crates. I see her. I sent Abdullah to sack out for a while. He was starting to respond to me in Arabic without realizing it. It's been a long day. Well, that's for sure. I'm guessing it ain't over yet. Who knows what language I'll start talking in if I don't crash sometime soon. Listen, you look beat yourself, Mac. Uh, I'm all right. Come on, I gotta bend your ear a bit. Rayford? Yeah. See, they're making a stink about finding Rayford's fingerprints on a saber. A what? It's a high-powered gun. Nick used it to blast Eli and Moisha. The print trace, at least what they said about it on the plane, sounded legit. Israeli-based peacekeepers found the weapon, bagged it, and immediately lifted the prints and started comparing it against the global databases. Hmm. Here's the fly in the ointment, though. In private, the top guys don't talk about Ray as the perp. You just said they found his prints on the weapon. Yeah, well, they must know something we don't. Such as? Well... Leon's got a bee in his bonnet over these three regional potentates he doesn't like. He keeps talking about a conspiracy. Everybody hears a gunshot and heads for the hills. People jump off the stage. Carpathia is down and dying. The suspected weapons found with a former employee's prints all over it. An employee who's gone AWOL and all Leon can talk about is a conspiracy. What does that tell you? Well, I guess that the shooter missed. That's my theory. And if it was so cut and dried, why don't they just call Rayford the shooter already? Listen, in public, they do. Yeah, but in private, David... They're still looking. So Mac thinks there's more to this than the news reports about Ray. You plan to listen in on the autopsy? Yeah. Maybe you ought to patch into the evidence room, too. Huh? I didn't know we had one. We do now. They've cordoned off a section under the amphitheater. Lots of room, lots of light. Are you sure? I mean, that's next to where they've got Guy Blood whipping together the 24-foot Carpathia statue. 
That's where I delivered the evidence. Two plastic bags, one wood crate. Walter Moon's got a crew of forensic experts scheduled for 10 o'clock this morning. And I heard they're trying to start the viewing at dawn Sunday. That's tomorrow. Well, see if you can get some rest, hon. We've got a lot of work to do after sunup. Oh, God. You know I'm a wanted man. Probably the most wanted man on the planet right now. Forgive me for trying to take things into my own hands. Don't let my actions jeopardize the Trib Force or the Saints Row. Yeah. Are you in place? Yes. Good. Uh, there appears to be no other traffic at the moment. You should see our lights at any time and hear us inside 30 seconds. All right. Start moving toward the road as soon as you hear us. We will open the back door as we stop. And as soon as you're in, we will turn around quickly and head north again. Gotcha. I I'm ready. Okay, that's got to be them. Oh, wait. Lucas said they were coming from the north. Or was it the south? Oh, that engine's way too big for a small car. Yeah? What is coming from the south with no light? I don't know, Lucas. I'm on the ground. Just keep going. No chance. Did you see them? It could have been GC. I don't know. No. Stay right where you are. No, it was GC. It doesn't appear they saw you. They will be able to see us behind them from quite a distance, so don't move. It just passed me. We will come back when we feel it's safe. I feel safer back in the foliage. No, no, no. Stay there. They might be able to see your movement. We will look for other GC vehicles. Why are they speeding around without lights? We have no idea, my friend. Unless, of course, they know about you being here. I don't care how far we go. Minimum tonight, 100 nicks. That's fine. I'll pay. Do you know the place I'm talking about? I think, from what you described, I show you. You want to get, how they say it, medicated tonight? Uh, yeah, yeah. But I have to find the right place. We try. Many of the bars are closed. Some still open. An earthquake sure did a number here, huh? Selective. Building spine three blocks away. Here? I not go down that way. Look there. That the place? Uh, no. No, it's about the same size as that, but there's this big neon sign in the front window. And you don't remember the name? Uh, no. No, it's got a really, really narrow door, though. Yes! I know the place! Narrow door! Closed! No get in. Want this or other place? Oh, well, no, no, no. Take me to the other one. Back this way? I know it's closed. Weeks. Dark. Everybody bye-bye. That is exactly where I want to go. Why you want to go where it's closed? You know, get medicated. Building fall on you. I... I'm meeting somebody. Building fall on her, too. She won't be at closed place. See? Down there? Dark. No, no, no. That's it. That's it. Yeah, here. There you go. It's closed. Here's the 50. Yeah. Thanks for the ride. Crazy American. Great. All right. No street lights. All right. Uh. There it is. There it is, the harem. Looks deserted. Uh, hello? Hello? Anybody in there? Oh, man. How could an elderly stroke victim confined to a wheelchair, no less? Somebody had to cart him away, but who? Oh! Who's that? Don't hide yourself. Oh, now what? Uh, who is it? Uh, who, who's up there? Oh, 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 oh. oh hey! Oh. Uh, oh. Doc! Cameron! Oh. Cameron! Is that really you? Doc! Cameron! Cameron, my friend! This is, this is almost enough to make a believer out of me! I knew you'd come! Left Behind, the dramatic audio series, is based in part on the book The Indwelling by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins and has been adapted for radio by Chris Fabry, music by Steve Wick, sound design by Glenn West, directed and produced by Todd Bastide. Left Behind, the dramatic audio series, is a production of Gap Digital and Tyndale House Publishers. Thank you for listening. <laughs>